today we are applying citrus strip to our Airstream to take off the clear coat that was applied on our 1973 Airstream. We're hoping that after stripping this clear coat, we're able to get a more uniform look on our Airstream and all of those patchy uh, sunspots are gonna go away. That is the hope, we'll see. There are a few brands that people use. You can use Aircraft Stripper or Citrus Strip. This one smells really good, so I went with that. <laughs> about our Airstream is because of the year we are able to actually get a mirror finish. We don't know if we want to polish yet, but we decided that we're going to see what it looks like after we rip the clear coat off. And we've heard it's a really hard, tedious, and messy process to polish it to a mirror finish. So let us know in the comments what you guys think. Should we put in the time and the work or should we just do what we can and move on? You can see right here that someone tried to polish this without taking off the clear coat. And uh, you can see the clear coat right here. And I think this is where they tried to polish. You can see our cool new patches. You can pressure wash this off, but we've pressure washed this Airstream before and we ended up with a lot of leaks. So um, I'm just gonna start by doing this by hand. It's also a paint thinner. So um, we're right next to the house and I don't want to splash all this paint thinner on the house. Oh, you're supposed to go with the grain. So there, you can kind of see that clear coat peeling off. Honestly, it's looking cleaner already. Yeah. It definitely looks a lot shinier. Definitely not as much of a sheen. This is the clear coat, and this is the stripped. Well, Megan's working on the citrus strip. I'm trying to get off what's left of the big red numbers, and this is putting up quite a fight. I've tried goo gun, I've tried a heat gun, I've tried sanding, I've tried scraping, everything. A little bit of everything. It's just, it's really, really on there. <laughs> not the side of the house so we're gonna use that function the flat function to see if we can just pressure wash it off We found out the hard way that citrus strip kills grass, so if we were to do this again, we would have done it on the driveway. I don't know if that was easier. I think after seeing it with the hose, I think I prefer the scraping because now we have this A bunch of crap huge there. mess and everything is wet. So let's just stick with scraping and then we'll like wash it, like the residue off. Yeah, I think that's a better idea. In total, it took about two days and five buckets of the citrus strip to get us to completely strip the clear coat of this Airstream. I think she looks great. So shiny. Ooh, especially this panel. This panel looks toy. Yeah, that one in the other back corner looks great. Yeah. Too bad they're not all the ones that are in the front. You can like see yourself in the mirror. Yeah, look at Megan. There's two of her. Let's see, will the camera focus on the reflection? Mm, not really. The one thing I will notice is that if there are scratches, it'll make the scratches look worse. But if there's oxidation, it'll make the oxidation look better. It's so shiny. Honestly, super pleased with this for now. And now we're ready to work on the next phase of this project of making our Airstream look pretty again. I think this is gonna look amazing. I'm loving the contrast of the bronzy, goldish kind of color with the aluminum. This, I love this color. It's looking gorgeous. Honestly, I'm stoked about it. I think it looks way cooler than the original blue and I've never seen anybody do anything unique with these. So we might be the first people. We might be pioneers in the Airstream restoration industry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
This is taking forever though, but it's kind of oddly therapeutic. The key of this game, this entire Airstream, is patience. Today I have more patience than other days. There are definitely days where I would not be sitting here doing this, but it kind of beats other things. <laughs> Yeah, we started the window process and we decided to do this today instead. <laughs> I feel like every single step of the way we've done something, it's kind of unlocked a whole new level of what is going on. And then we crush it and then I don't think about the bad things anymore and I think about, wow, that was easy. And then you go into the next one with a lot of positivity and you realize this is going to be the yeah, it's just like a cycle of getting beat up by this project. As soon as we accepted that this is not going to be perfect by any means, things have gone a lot smoother. I believe we do legitimately have patience of saints. The next step is to reattach this middle trim piece, and we're going to be giving this a makeover too. We have our final coat of paint on all the things that we're putting on the Airstream, and I'm thinking it looks awesome. I'm super stoked. Let's, see, let's show you guys how this thing looks. Oh, it looks fabulous. So this plate is gonna go here. Oh yeah, that looks sick. Oh babe, that looks fresh. And then we're gonna follow the same orange line or rose gold. Rose gold. Ready? These were originally held on with regular pop rivets, but we don't have any that are long enough to actually go through the, I believe this is a cast aluminum, uh, into the shell. So we're just using buck rivets and it might not look as aesthetically pleasing, but it still looks good to me. And I think that's really all that matters. So give us a thumbs up for that. Please. Ready? Yeah. Nice. I think that looks awesome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! Nice. I love it. All right, let's pack up. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Boom! Yay! Yay! It was kind of giving us a little pain. Uh, trying to use the old ones and the rivets we already have, but I'm glad we just picked up new ones with new rivets that will fit. Since we stripped off the clear coat, this thing is so shiny, you really can't look at it in the daylight without having some kind of glasses. I feel like it's kind of a driving hazard for all the people who polish. So, red, back, amber, front. So that goes with the lights too. That's something I didn't even notice, that amber lights go in the front and red lights go in the back. You're probably thinking, Megan, everybody knows that. I just, I think I knew it, but it just didn't, it didn't click, like, even cars. Red is in the back. Oh. And amber is in the front. Honestly, didn't notice. So That's far from where we started from. On to the front. Boom. Nice. Like it worked. Yeah. This is my boyfriend and meet me in the hotel room. Very simple project, but very satisfying. All right, next up, I think these letters look awesome. Amazing. These Airstream letters were pretty fragile, but thankfully we were able to reattach them. We put Sikaflex on the back of them and also bolted them down, and they seem like they're not going to go anywhere, hopefully. I don't even care if it's crooked. <laughs> so tell me what you're waiting for. You know. A lot of these letters only had one post because some of them broke when we took them off. So for those ones, we just used extra Sikaflex and tightened them down as much as we could. Tell me 
These were the old amber lights. They're, as you can see, they're gone. They're just, the gasket back part is disgusting and cracked and just super brittle and I highly doubt waterproof. I don't even know if the lights still work, but we decided rather than spending all the time to clean them up, they're only a couple of bucks each, so we're just gonna replace them all. And uh, let me show you the new ones. Old, new. So. We were feeling pretty good about our progress at this point, and by Airstream renovation standards, things were going extremely smoothly. This is our replacement scare light, our front porch light. I don't really know why they call it a scare light, maybe like scare away critters or something, I don't know. Either way, it's a direct replacement. Pops in right that, we're gonna rivet it in. It was originally screwed in, and those screws just kind of, even though I think they were stainless, they just rusted out over the years. We decided to save a lot of time by spending a little bit of extra money to just replace these lights. And now it's time to pop them in. Next thing we're working on is replacing our license plate light. It's actually DOT required of trailers, I learned, so that's something fun. Matt is having a meltdown. I'm not having a meltdown. I think I'm just a little hungry. How many bowls of soup have you had? Just one. That's not enough soup for a growing boy as yourself. Thanks for finally noticing. Whew. And that concludes today's video. Our Airstream's not the only thing getting a makeover. So are we. This spring and summer, we are upgrading our wardrobe to brave the New England heat. Quinn sent us some pieces from their spring collection and we are obsessed with their linens. One of the main reasons I love Quince is because they make their clothes to be high quality and affordable. They're transparent about their profit margins and work hard to source materials sustainably. Their linen is super high quality and super breathable for this humid heat. This orange dress is made of tensile, which is a eucalyptus fiber, and this is a silk cami that I can put in the wash. All natural fibers, by the way. And on this channel, we love to partner with companies that care about sustainability. So if you're ready to spruce up your spring wardrobe, check the links in our description, and thank you to Quince for sponsoring this video. Plus, now I match the Airstream. <laughs> Back to the show. Woo we're back. We're back. Let's get to work. All right. We took all those clothes for a week vacation in Hawaii and I would have to say we looked fabulous. Now we're back and it's in the 80s. I'm excited to really get this Airstream done. We have a few things left to do to beautify our Airstream, so let's get to it. Cautionary tale from us, if you're doing this project, uh, which I don't know why you're doing that, you know, you're crazy. Uh, if you drill out those rivets, this thing just pops right out. So just be very careful. Oop. off of the tail lights and this is like really heavy aluminum originally they had you can kind of see here a blue frame I'm like still missing a little bit of this copper uh, rose gold color so I think just painting the entire thing might be the move yeah we're gonna give it a pop of color in the butt the housing for the lights is completely rusted so we bought a new set for both sides or both one side sides. If we didn't go through it before, we're using Rust-Oleum and it's a metallic finish. I think these might be a little bit too rose gold for my personal taste. We also decided to get real crazy and do these little letters by the front door. Coming up 
next we are installing these banana wraps onto the sides. These are parts that go around the front corners and the back corners of the Airstream. Alright guys, here's the challenge we have right now. We have this one banana wrap to go. It is 8.15. The liquor store closes at 9 and we want to get some wine. So we're going to challenge ourselves to get this on in 15 minutes or less and make it to get some booze for the night. Because why not? It took 15 minutes and 54 seconds, so we are right on schedule. We gotta clean up real fast, and we will catch you guys tomorrow. It is a beautiful morning this morning. We did get to the wine store last night, and Megan is absolutely feeling it this morning. We made some good progress last night. Hopefully we can get this done, knock this project out, and then we're on to restoring all of the windows. <laughs> back here. It's definitely grown on me. Yeah. I'm wearing a mask because this Vulcan smells like the devil's butthole. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Ready? Okay, uh, top other corner now, ready? Sweet! Let's do it! We're done! Woo! Oh, that looks great. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad we did that. The next thing we're not really sure of is if we should paint the bumper to match these. I think that would kind of tie the whole thing together. But we're also thinking about painting the trim the same way that we did this, uh, painting that bottom trim the same way. So uh, it might add to it, it might be a little too much. We don't know, what do you guys think? Comment down below what you think we should do about this bumper. Should we just leave it as is or should we paint it to match these reflectors and all the other little bits of color we got around the airstream? Tomorrow is hopefully our last day with this part of the project. <laughs> we gotta secure the back bumper box and install this ring. We're gonna have to order some more of that, but we'll just probably do that in a later video or we just won't do it and we'll just, it'll just one day be done and you'll be like, wow guys, it looks great. That's probably more likely. Wow guys, that looks so great. I got my dad here to help. He's got matching hats, we're ready to party. <laughs> this back bumper area was something we should have done when we replaced our sub floor, but we never did anything remotely close to this, so we're bound to make mistakes. Anyways, I needed a second set of hands to help me out, so I called my dad, who instead of enjoying his retirement playing golf, is out here helping me. Shout out to you, dad. Over the years, I learned a lot from my dad, but he doesn't know anything about rivets, and I do, so look who gets to hold the flashlight now, dad. Yeah, so we got the bumper pack on, and this was is curved, so water will come, just come right out. I might drill a couple holes in it, just to, yeah. just to make sure. Nice. Today is the day, guys. I can just feel it. Once this back bumper's on, we are done with this portion of beautifying our Airstream. It's been a long time. We started this on May 4th. Today's actually May 29th. We did go away for a week on a little getaway. Uh, but basically, this has taken about three weeks to get to the stage. Things have gone significantly slower than we would have liked. But you know what? I guess when you haven't done something like this big restoration project before, it's expected. So we're just kind of dealing with it and excited to get to the next phase 
sealing up the windows, making sure the rest of the airstream is watertight, and then we can move inside and start working on our walls. Finally got this back bumper on with the help of my friend Garrett and my dad. Having an extra set of hands really helps me out and gives Megan the ability to work on some other things like our windows, which we have going on right now, which is a nightmare the of butt. their own. Oh. But check it out. This cool back bumper box opens up. There's probably a little bit of fine tuning that we need to do to uh, take care of that. But I'm super excited because we are done. And we have the back trim ring on, which we think we're going to paint to match the same trim ring as the top. Comment down below what you think. Let us know in the comments, should that go rose gold? So once you go rose gold, it looks like copper. You kind of look old. Hey,